Hi guys, today I am doing a fragrance critical hush. What? 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 Okay, let's try this again. Today I'm doing a fragrance collection, yes. So it's perfumes, body sprays. I did a candle, wow, I cannot speak today. Now I'm doing a fragrance collection. A lot of people have asked me to do this. I don't really know why. I don't feel like I talk about perfume all that often, but I am a perfume obsessed person. I have a very unique sense of smell. I feel like I either love something or I hate it, but like, I don't know. You'll understand once you get into it. I'm really bad at explaining scents, just like everyone is, just like everyone says they are. But I want to do this video. I'm wanting to do it for a super long time and, um, I'm gonna do it. So I <laughs> hope you enjoy. Keep on watching if you wanna see what fragrances I like. I have talked about this. It was in my winter favorites and it is the Body Fantasies Vanilla Plain and Simple. This thing costs like four bucks. Love it. It smells like straight up vanilla. It's not too sweet though, which is what I like. It's like more pure vanilla, like vanilla ice cream. Not so much like sugary, sweet candy vanilla, if that makes sense. I really like it. It's definitely more of a winter smell for me. I think it lasts really long for something that's only four bucks. And I feel like even $90 perfumes don't last very long. And if you are cheap like me, it's a good one. Next is a scent that I'm obsessed with. Um, I've had different brands of this scent for a very long time now. And this is just one I have right now. This is called Cool Coconut Surf. It's like my favorite summer smell like just straight up coconut is like very sunscreen smelling my ideal perfume which i would want to buy so badly is bobby brown beach perfume although i heard that it doesn't last very long on the skin but that scent if you smell that oh my god it's amazing it's like i don't even know it's like so similar to the coconut one from the body shop but there's like something all, like different about it that i love so if you haven't smelled bobby brown, bobby brown beach smell it that's like my favorite. Coconut is like my number one like favorite smell in the world. I have the big bottle of Juicy Couture Viva Lo Juicy. Love this one. The bottle is very like gaudy. <laughs> this is like my go-to. This is like my signature scent all through college. I don't really even know how to describe this 100% like I know I just said in the beginning I don't know how to describe scents but I have been so far and this one I can't describe. I just I don't even know. This one if you smell this scent this is what I smell like. <laughs> If you thought my personality had smell, I would say this is it, but I might be wrong. A scent I got for my birthday, this is called Pistachio Brulee. It's one of the little um, Urban Outfitters perfumes. It's like 20 bucks, I think. I really like this. It's very close to the vanilla smell, but much more subtle. I love pistachio, the smell of pistachio, muffins, ice cream, all that stuff. Like, I can't, I don't really like the actual nut thing, but I like the smell and like the flavor. But a lot of these scents are super nice from Urban Outfitters. They're in 20 bucks. They don't last super long. Like they're more light scents. So if you don't like like the real intense kind of sense senses, then um, try these out. They're pretty cheap. The bottles are so cute. They're very like aesthetically pleasing. Very simple. I love these. Like, if you don't want that classic vanilla, but you love the vanilla scent, but you want something like down, downturn. What's the word? Like a little toned down. Wow. Try that. <laughs> this is one I have the perfume and the body spray of, and this is the Dream Angels Heavenly Five Victoria's Secret of the Mist and the actual perfume. Love this smell. This is like a very like adult, like when you've gone from like wearing like Britney Spears perfume to being a grown up, that's what this is like. This is like a very classic perfume. Like when you think perfume, this is what it smells like, but it's not grandma-y or like, like old people smelling. It's very nice and subtle and, and sophisticated like very like office friendly and that sounds horrible why would anyone want that scent it sounds like this is like this is a smell that you could wear to high school you could wear to college a teacher could wear it a nurse could wear it like you could wear it in the office and no one's gonna be like whoa you're wearing too much and no one's gonna be like oh, that smells kind of sweet for an adult like no one's gonna judge you if you wear this perfume <laughs> that was an interesting description of perfume. I want you to be judging you anyway, but you know what I mean. I have two celebrity perfumes. One is uh, Britney Spears Fantasy in this pink one. I used to have the blue one, which of course, I mean, everyone did, didn't they? This one's very sweet. Like this is not my favorite scent. Like it's sweet, but it's like only when I'm in a sweet mood. Like this is something I'll rarely wear, only if I'm in like a very like, I feel like I wanna be in high school mood or like a reminiscent of young younger times. This one is Mariah Carey. I honestly have no idea. It's called Mariah Carey Mine Again? Mine again? I don't know. It's from the Lollipop Bling line? No idea. That sounds so like 2001. It's more of a winter scent. It has like an apple undertone. I really like this one a lot. It's actually very not that sweet for a celebrity perfume, especially one that looks like this. Another Victoria's Secret one. This is like a go-to of mine. This is the Sexy Little Things Noir Tees. Got the big one, got the little one. Love these. It's like a very, very sexy but mature, not like overdoing it smell. I know the bottle literally like, like you don't want this sitting on your dresser. The actual perfume comes with like that squeezy ball thing. 
I know, those are so cool. I've always wanted one. If you go in Victoria's Secret, which I'm sure you do because where else could you possibly buy underwear? And if you don't buy underwear, ew. Just give it a smell because I don't really like Victoria's Secret scents other than the heavenly one because I feel like that one's just classic. If you don't like Victoria's Secret smells because I think so many of them are overdoing it too sweet and just too like, whoa. This one I really like a lot. And this I've mentioned definitely before, my go-to spring scent, Marc Jacobs Daisy. I love the original one. I have all the roller balls because I ran out of the other ones. I think I've gotten Daisy like three times in the full size. The original Daisy smells like a Daisy. Like it's very, very floral, which like I said earlier, I don't really like, but this one is very like, I don't want to say subtle, but it has other smells like to cut that floral smell. I also have Daisy Oh So Fresh, which is okay. I think I got it in like a three pack. It's a bit more sweet. It has a bit more of like that, like this is a flowery scent. So I don't love that one as much. I tried that new one that came out, which is Dr Daisy Dream. Oh my God, the blue one, insane. This one, I don't, honestly, I didn't know I could like one better than Daisy, but I do. This smells like Daisy, like it has a Daisy floral smell, but it has like coconut or something in it that makes it even better. And these scents are definitely more lightweight and like spring and like happy than the ones I normally like that are more warm and deep, but I love it. Like Daisy Dream, give this one a smell. You're gonna want it so bad. Ooh, let's go back in time. I don't even think they make this perfume. Don't know where I got it. Probably at TJ Maxx, but it is Burberry the Beat. Honestly, they had make Burberry. I know used to make, make the, the Brit and like all these different smells and like they were the thing. Like I feel like Burberry perfumes were like the thing. Like eight years ago. This one is the one I used in high school. Like way back high school. I was 17. Oh my god, that was so long ago. It's a very, very, very warm smell. Honestly, I don't really wear this just because every time I smell it, it like brings me back to high school and like I have some good high school memories but also some really bad ones. So I don't really want to always think about that but it is nice to just like smell it and it's funny how smell can bring you back to a time in your life. Don't even know why I'm really mentioning it because you dare doubt you're gonna find it. This is Tokyo Milk Dark Tainted Love. I've talked about this before. This is very strong. This is the kind of scent I don't think everyone is gonna like. This is the kind of scent that almost has like a powdery baby powder smell. It says dark vanilla bean, orchid, white tea, and sandalwood. Love vanilla and sandalwood. Anytime those two are together, awesome. This smell reminds me of like the 20s. Don't know why. Wasn't alive then. Wish I was, but it just reminds me of an old-fashioned smell, but not like old people. Just like this is the kind of smell you kind of like you watch like Age of Adeline or what's that circus movie with um Reese Witherspoon and um Robert Pattinson, the one about the circus, I don't know, something about elephants, circus of elephants, circle of elephants, that movie. If you've seen that, this is the smell you think of when you watch that movie. So go give it a scent, go give it a scent, go give it a whiff, a sniff, whatever. This is a body spray and a perfume of the same smell, both from the body shop. Love the body shop, by the way. They have very accurate scents. This is white musk and smoky rose. The reason I bought this was because I had bought, I had smelled the um, rose argan body conditioner from Lush. And if you smell that, it smells amazing. It has like this rose strawberry, amazing smell. It smells as close as that you could get to that, I think. But my mind is connected to scents in such a weird way. Hope you enjoyed this. That was my last perfume to talk about. Guys, what is wrong with me? I literally <laughs> just gave the weirdest, like I don't know what my plan was for this, like how I was gonna describe these scents, but I'm glad I described them the way I did because I thought it was funny and if I watched someone do this video, I'd probably laugh. Let me know if you like this in a comment. Let me know if, what scents I should be trying, what your favorite scent is, if you're gonna try any of these. Let me know anything you want in a comment. Um, if you do like this, please give it a big thumbs up. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And subscribe to hear more ridiculous scent descriptions from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Can you see that? I don't know. And for blah, 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 but I literally, guys, I can't speak today. It's disgusting.